with Jenga for that. Once again, good evening. I'm Richard Munga with the day's sports. Now, reigning Africa Championship high jump champion Matthew Sawe has attained the Tokyo Olympic Games qualifying mark. Also, the National Olympic Committee has announced and awarded prizes to the winners of the Olympic Day essay and art competitions that closed on the 25th of June 2021. Sawe attained the Olympic qualification mark through the World Athletic Ranking System. By the close of the qualifying window last night, Sawe was ranked 24th, which secured him a slot to the Tokyo Olympic Games. Sawe made his international debut in 2012 in Porto Novo. Sawe banked gold at the 2016 African Championship in Duban, South Africa, making him the first Kenyan to win that title. Elsewhere, Nok Kenya has today announced awarded prizes to the winners of the Olympic Day, essay and art competitors that closed on 25th June 2021. The theme of the competition revolved around the upcoming Tokyo 2020 Olympic with the aim of promoting education on the Olympics to young Kenyans. The competition that were open for all Kenyans had a huge participatory engagement Participants ranking from primary kids to university undergraduate students entered the annual Olympic Day competition as NOC partnered with lecturers from Kenyatta University, art colleges and school teachers to do the judging. And finally, close to 500 athletes have been invited to participate in a three-day national under-20 trials to select Team Kenya slated to kick off this Friday to Sunday at Kasarani Stadium. The athletes reported to the residents today and will be subjected to a daily COVID-19 test. According to the World Under-20 LOC CEO Mike Rabal, Kenya is ready to host the event with over 128 countries having already confirmed their participation for the August 17th to 22nd global event at Kasarani Stadium. The first two athletes across the line during the trials will be selected in Team Kenya with strict adherence to mandatory age. So we want to make sure that the calculation is done well in advance and uh, works and people begin to understand what it means to have certain uh, allocations, certain zones. So we want to make sure we implement that very, very strongly. So calculation for us is going to be very, very instrumental. Secondly, in terms of our transport, uh, our event uh, is seen that we are having uh, artists in various hotels across the, across the city. Transport and coordination will be a very key facet of this event and making sure that the athletes leave uh, the hotels on time, get to Kasarani where they're coming for the event or get to Nyan Stadium if they're going for training. That facet for us is, very, very, is, is, is probably the most crucial part of, uh, of, of hosting an event of this magnitude.